Hello, I'm Deepika. So, if you want to start a business as a one-person company, so uh, I'm going to uh, tell you about some things uh, that you should know. Uh, so, uh, one-person company means a company which has only one person, one member, and uh, OPC is uh, one of the significant uh, milestone of the Companies Act 2013 introduced to encourage self-employment. Basically, uh, it is a form of private limited company where a single entrepreneur can uh, avail the benefits of limited liability uh, mechanism. Uh, it required one member and uh, one nominee who becomes the member of a company in case of the death of any other incapacity of the original member. Well, unlike a private limited company, an uh, OPC does not require minimum two members uh, or director. A sole member is uh, sufficient to in incorporate uh, um, incorporate an uh, uh, OPC. And uh, an OPC is the best alternative for the entrepreneur who want to carry a business under a limited liability uh, from without any tie-ups uh, with the other members. And uh, one person company can be easily converted into uh, to a private limited company in future if need uh, arise. So. Uh, Let's discuss what are the features of one person company. Uh, so a company is a separate legal entity from the person forming, forming it. Uh, the ownership can be uh, distinguished uh, from its management unlike uh, in other business forms. And the company as a legal entity is uh, capable of owning its funds and uh, other uh, properties. And then if uh, people may come and go but the company continue to live on forever so uh, perpetually succession means the company shall continue to exist even if the member dies or uh, or uh, in another cases like uh, so uh, changes within the management does not uh, bring any effect onto the identity of the company. Uh, so the company shall continue to exist till it's uh, bound up if uh, in accordance with the, the provision of the relevant laws. And uh, the limited liability of company is not a liability of its member and uh, members are only liable for the amount they have undertaken taken to uh, deposit when they subscribe to the share of the company. So liability of the company are not the liabilities of the people forming it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it have special privilege in, uh, in comparison to other uh, companies. Uh, there are various benefits and privileges available to a uh, one person company. And, uh, uh, it's not required to hold an annual general meeting and uh, they can uh, have uh, only one director. If the one person company has uh, uh, only one director then no board meeting is required to be held of course. So only one board meeting is sufficient in uh, one half of calendar year and uh, yeah cash flow system is not a mandatory part of the financial uh, financials. And uh, yeah, so um, it will um, it will have a benefit of easy transferability, and uh, in case you wish to transfer your business, and uh, you can easy do it in uh, uh, this incorporated. So business model, like in case of uh, proprietorship or uh, additional partnership, it uh, it is easy to sell business for a company rather than any other business form. Uh, as business corporation value will be based on the business not the owner therefore and uh, making it easy to sell the company and uh, yeah of course it is a only one member co uh, company so unlike a convention private limited company and OPC does not require uh, minimum two director or member only one member is enough to incorporate the business uh, and uh, in future if there is any need to introduce uh, more member there and uh, uh, one person company can be easily converted to the private limited company only one director is uh, sufficient in case of opposite 
so uh, let's discuss what are the documents which are required for uh, one person company registration a uh, photograph will be needed and a self attest pen card and uh, your self attest aadhar and uh, voter id driving license passport and uh, latest electricity bill bank statement telephone bill showing the address of the director and uh, address proof uh, descripting the registrar office address and uh, utility bill telephone and uh, electricity bill yeah. so after this uh, after the registration what will you get is a digital signature certificate of sole member and director a din of sole director and a memorandum of association a uh, aoa article of association and a pen of the company and a tn of a company so that's it for today thank you so much for watching